Do you want to make your Windows system your own? In this video, we'll talk about how to customize Windows. For a more in-depth look at the topic, we will link an article in the description. Windows personalization is available one of two ways. You can go to Settings, go down to Personalization, or you can right-click on an open area of the desktop and go to Personalize. And here you'll see specific things for background. You can create a slideshow. You can browse for picture album. You can decide that if you want multiple pictures, you can change it every so often. You can shuffle the picture order. And of course, you can have it to where you fill the image to your particular liking. So I don't want a slideshow, but I want a picture. These are recent images that show, but I want to have a personalized image. So I will go to and you can then have it to where it would fit the screen, fill the screen, stretch. Tile, Center, and Span. Under Colors, you can change the mode from Light Mode, Dark Mode, Custom, Transparency effects and have it to where either the taskbar or other items are transparent or not. You can change the accent color. You can set customized colors. You can show accent color on start and taskbar. And you can even set it up for title bars and windows borders. For themes, set up where you can choose current themes that comes with Windows, or you can click on Browse Themes and download a theme to your liking. Now, some of them are free, but there are also some that do come with a cost. Just be aware of this. You can do you can adjust the desktop icon settings, and your themes can also adjust things for like color, the mouse cursor, the sounds. Under lock screen, you can personalize your lock screen. Your lock screen status, you can add things such as calendar, weather, mail, or none. Show the lock screen background picture on the sign-in screen. You can turn that on or off. And screen timeouts is in a related setting. Under text input, we can look at different themes that go along with it. You can try your setup out. You can set up a custom theme. Start. You can decide how your uh, startup looks, whether more pins, default, or more recommendations. You can show recently added apps, show most used apps, show recently opened items folders, how they appear. This if you want to add things, for instance, settings, file explorer, documents, and that would go in this particular area right here. So if we wanted to add file explorer and maybe music, and we toggle those on, as you see down here, you have the particular buttons to access them. Fonts, this is where you can add any sort of new fonts to use on your system. And you can even get more fonts in the Microsoft Store. For more helpful articles to help you maximize your Windows experience, go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we are always adding new content aimed at making you the master of your digital house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.